Hey there, my name is JT and today we'll be talking about cells. The first topic is about an organelle called the chloroplast, which is found in plant cells. Chloroplasts are round and, and green. They have two layers, the inner membrane which is responsible for controlling what goes in and out of the cell, and the outer membrane which is there to protect the organelle. They are green because they have chlorophyll in them. Inside the chloroplast, stroma is found. Stroma is a liquid inside of chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are very important because they are in all plant cells and responsible for giving them energy and food, also known as photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the way on how plants, some bacteria and some protists get their food and energy directly from the sunlight, water and oxygen to form glucose. Chloroplasts are extremely important because without them, in the plant cells, the plants will not have any food or energy to live. Now for part two. The animal cell I've chosen is called the macrophage. The macrophage is a large white blood cell and it is part of the immune system and is extremely essential. Macrophage function by eating anything that is not a healthy tissue and its job is to keep our bodies clean from any bad bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites. Macrophage were made from the white blood cells, monocytes, which are produced by the stem cells in our bone marrow. The macrophage is an amoeba types of cell. Part 3. The Plant Cell The plant cell I've selected is the guard cell. Guard cells are in the shape of a kidney. The wall bordering the stomata is thick and hard, whereas the outside wall is thin and extendable. Guard cells surround the stomates in plants. Stomates absorb sunlight and carbon dioxide, then releases oxygen. Stomata help plants lose water like people sweating. The guard cells can open and close the stomates to save water. Guard cells work from sunlight. Guard cells are important because they can change due to environment, which is helpful so they can close off the stomata to prevent any loss in water. Now to the last part, which is comparing the two cells. Are there any similarities between the two cells? Well, let's first compare the plant cells and the animal cells. They are quite similar because they both divide to reproduce and have a similar structure. The macrophage and guard cells are not very similar. The macrophages are considered a guard cell because of how they guard the body, just like bodyguards. But not like the guard cells and plants, which are used for helping and supporting the stomata and preventing it from losing any water or water vapor. These are different because they have two different purposes. These cells are needed. Macrophage are always needed to keep the body clean and healthy, which is extremely important. Without them, our body could be infected with bacteria and viruses, which is really bad. Without guard, without guard cells, the stomata could lose water, without knowing the conditions if it's too hot or too cold.